All right guys, so we are picking up where we left off in the last video and I didn't show you guys any of the install of the spark plugs, but I got those in there, gap them down to 0.28 uh, for gap wise. It's kind of threw me in, I thought it was pretty simple. Probably gonna cut my hood out. Uh, I don't know if I'll show any of you guys that, but I'll show you guys the end result of it all. And I'll cut out and yeah, and then we'll get into today's video. Uh, we just gotta do a few more things on tuning wise, get it idling right and plugging up my coolant temperature sensor because I guess it was unplugged. Anyway, let's get right into it and we'll probably do some more driving clips of the car while it's running with the hood on and seeing some massive fireballs come out the hood. Well, apart from my wastegate falling off and obviously this massive boost leak right here, as you can see, my intercooler piping is not connected whatsoever. Um, this would probably explain why I haven't been building boost like whatsoever because it looks like it's been off for a while because it's uh, been rubbing up here a good bit. Uh, looks like a while now. So anyway, we're gonna hook this back up and hopefully this thing is building boost again. Taking on a test drive tonight while the AFR is properly hooked up to the ECU and hopefully get her tuned through the, my laptop and just auto tune it through Mega Squirt and be good and done with it for now and then take it to a tuner and and she's pretty much all done. So anyway, let's get right into it and I'll catch you guys when this is 100% on the road. So as I'm down here trying to uh, hook my AFR sensor into the turbo exhaust, I come down here and I see all this smoke and you know like exhaust leak gases and carbon on this and stuff. And I'm gonna check my wastegate and I was wondering why I wasn't building boost. One of the bolts fell off. Anyway, we're gonna have to probably pull the turbo back off. We're kind of doing it anyway and tighten that back up throw another bolt on it and hopefully it stays this time let's just get into this fix it and then go for another drive it's too fun to not drive <laughs>
give some direction towards today's video, we are going to be installing these light pods. These are not fog lights, these are light bars, but circular, I guess, so they're out, so they're called light pods. Um, I'm gonna be using my old light bar harness that I still have hooked up here, it still works. Uh, it's just running to nothing, so it's just kind of null power, I guess, if that's a good way to put it. Anyway, we gotta do some modification to the bumper because these will sit behind it, not in front of it. Uh, so these are five inch light pods and they sit right behind my bumper as you can see excuse the ugly wrap um yeah this was a very hard part anyway this is how it'll somewhat look i mean we have these little tabs here we're just gonna like, cut off and then this will sit flush against it and then it'll be good to go and then i'll actually have lights for when rip around at night so it's not completely blind and yes my bumper did rip off again for like the 800th time let's get right into this we're gonna use these oem mounting tabs we're just gonna have to figure out some way to mount it I guess uh, let's just get right into it, it should be pretty simple pretty quick because we have wiring ready done and it's pretty simple anyway I'll get you guys when this is um, like getting installed so let's get right into it all right guys so the car is running it's probably the best time to show you let's press this here are the light pods they're pretty bright it's pretty loud out here right now and it's like 720 um, but yeah they do a, a good bit of shining but yeah this is done I'm not sure how I like it but Anyway, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. In the next video, hopefully the car will be getting tuned and we can push uh, enough horsepower to make my clutch slip. I'll catch you guys in the next video, uh, whenever that is, but don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the new turbo Miata content. But until the next one, goodbye. Well,